So Hello. we are what? Hello. Hello. Uh we're back in door. So we need to uh we need to go to um the uh go someplace else. We need to find a way onto the southern continent so that we can finally um defeat the Empire. Yeah. Yeah. He said. Uh is this place open? And it looks like it is, although I'm not sure if we're going to do anything here just yet. We got some stuff we need to take care of. Uh, and I think he was talking about his son. <laughs> that, uh, that random guy that we were <laughs> talking to in the front row. Pesario. Maria? So, this is why we need, uh, Celeste in the party. <laughs> mm hmm Um, apparently, she looks a lot like Maria. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Yeah. Celeste looks like Maria? I got your picture. I'm coming with you, dear Maria. Ooh. Why did she just have her? What? Why did she just like give a peace sign? I don't think it was a peace sign. I think it was her like uh, wait one minute type uh, sign. But been a tizzy. Apparently, um, tizzy. Mar I guess. I guess that's a word. Dearest Maria, I've decided to take you as my wife, so I'll be coming to get. <laughs> what? <laughs> Say that again? <laughs> um, get the big fudge. So this is Setzer. Um, ah, you're an ass. <laughs> is he an ass in this? Uh, you play as Setzer? Yeah, uh, Setzer. Fuck Setzer. Setzer actually um, is. God, he looks uglier in this. <laughs> he looks fabulous. <laughs> um, he's the owner of the only world, uh, the world's only airship. Did Namora work on this game? Uh, I can't remember. Because I know in Kingdom Hearts, he only puts in like Final Fantasy characters he's worked on. I think Setzer, uh, well, I think uh, Setzer is the only uh, Amora character in the game in um, six or in, not in six um, in Kingdom Hearts because I think they were wanting to at least try to add in some other pre um, Final Fantasy seven characters. Uh, re he'll probably appear right at the climax of the first act. He loves uh, making a big entrance. So I, I'm guessing you've made, uh, I'm guessing you've uh, had run-ins with this guy before. <laughs> you don't do anything. Oh, this is simply horrible. I want the performance to be a success, but I don't want. <laughs> Maria to be abducted. Oh, woe is me. Let him grab her. <laughs> he did design Setzer. Oh, did he? Yeah, he designed Setzer and Shadow. Hmm. Interesting. He was in charge of storyboarding some of the cutscenes. His first job was a debugger for Final Fantasy IV. Hmm. Interesting. Because I know, like, he does a lot of monster designs, right? No. Or who am I thinking? Who's the creator of um, Kingdom Hearts? It's Nomura. I thought he did a lot of monster designs, like... For, like, Final Fantasy or, like, Kingdom Hearts in general? Final Fantasy. I think he... Let me check. So, 
apparently we're uh, let letting Setzer kidnap Celeste uh, as bait. A former general, not some opera floozy. And immediately runs into the into the changing room to uh, start preparing. <laughs> yeah, he just owns monsters. Okay, that's what I thought. Oh, ooh. see some purple octopus over there. <laughs> uh, better get the work. <laughs> and we just ignore his letter. <laughs> All right, this is what um, I think you're gonna really like. Oh, yeah? Oh, hell yeah, it's the fucking orchestra! Look at him fucking slam his hands down! <laughs> you're off key! You're out of time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is the opera scene, and probably one of the most iconic scenes in the game. Uh, it, it honestly really didn't have to be in this game, but um, I mean they decided to include it, and I think it actually adds a lot to the game. He's a soldier from the west. Thanks of his love, Maria. You've played uh, Undertale before, right? Yeah. So you know the Metaton uh, scene where he's like in an opera? Yeah. I believe that's what this is based off of. Or that that's based off of this. Oh. It's been a hot minute since I played it. <laughs> it's a My, lot of chocobos and he's dead. Yep. <laughs> No, I don't think he's dead. He just got downtrodden. I mean, you gotta remember, this is a an opera. No one actually dies, dies in this. Oh, Maria. And, uh, and this is Celeste's theme that we're hearing right now. This is what... Uh -huh. Um, this is the theme that, uh, you generally hear with Celeste. Huh. This is a little different, um, right here, but that opening sort of, uh, statement. Do -do -do -do, that, huh. that is primarily Celeste's theme. And I guess I forgot that we could actually move. Um, so we need to go and check on Celeste, see how she's doing. Okay. okay. Nope. And Locke just went straight for the boobs. All red. Oh no! Basically, yeah. <laughs> That's basically Locke saying, "You're pretty." You think that other girl's prettier than me? You're pretty. So you should probably uh, reread your lines um, if you're doing this for the first time, because oh, uh, if you uh, if you screw up, um, I think if you screw up once, you have to like 
wait another day <laughs> to uh, um, uh -uh. do the do the uh, entire thing over again. Uh, and I believe if you do it, um, if you screw up three times in a row, like three days in a row, you actually get a game over. <laughs> Don't fuck up, David. <laughs> Not this Western time. Western armies are defeated, and Maria's <laughs> castle fell to the hands of the East. East Prince Rawls. Rawls. Draco. They had a beautiful green-haired daughter. <laughs> Hero. This is Celeste's theme. I know. I couldn't remember if we've heard it before, if this is the first time we hear it. No, we have. This is actually probably one of my favorite uh, themes in the song or in the game. Because it, I mean, it just has so much sorrow behind it. So, um, according to, again, the options, um, for this is to do the first, the okay. second, and the first option. In that order. Huh. Um, if you choose the wrong one, again, um, the opera ends, uh, and you gotta redo it. So, try not to, <laughs> try not to screw up. The actual like I've I've listened to like the actual operatic uh, version of this song, and nice. it is just beautiful. All right, so nice. you have control over Celeste in at this point, um, and you gotta you gotta follow him, get like in front of him. Um, this is also timed, so be quick. I think it's only like three times. Um, and you gotta come up to this balcony He turned here. into flowers? He turned into flowers. Yes. Not sure how they did that in the actual opera, but sure. Um, so yeah, you gotta come up here with the flowers. And, um... You'll take a little bit, because you do get a bit of time for that one, since you gotta, you know, actually go to where you're trying to get to. Hmm. I feel like we're going to see something similar very, uh, very later in the game. This is only the first act. And to do the other act, too? <laughs> Oh fuck! Nah, this is like the the most you really got to do with uh, Celeste and the actual opera itself. The shooting star. Yeah. Oh my god! The prince is looking for his dance partner. Oh my god! Hmm. Oh wait, I'm not a, I'm not a chick. And around the campfire and sing them campfire songs. God. Yeah, thankfully we don't actually control Celeste in this part. Hell yeah. Pain in the ass. Also, this dance goes on forever. All right, so apparently uh, we've been standing here watching that. Fucking and creep. So when I'm actually recording like my own stuff, um, ugh, ultras, gross. 
tell impresario um when i'm recording like my own stuff um i'm yeah. generally you know doing all of it in one go uh-huh uh and then putting like a break in between episodes and okay. there's like enough of a pause in when i'm talking uh. so i can always kind of tell where the cuts need to go mm-hmm Attack. Okay. See the uh, the budget ran out on the um, actual fighting animations. <laughs> R. <laughs> Chocobo. Her beloved. <laughs> Draco. <laughs> <laughs> and imagine if this was like an actual opera. Uh, how is he t planning on disrupting this? Well... <laughs> what?! <laughs> Why?! <laughs> this plan only works if Celeste to... just stands there. <laughs> so Squidman just wants to be a dick? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we got five minutes. So in order to get like into the the rafters to uh, stop him, we have to uh -huh. come over here. All right, I'm sorry to send you. We need to get up on the catwalks. Lower the switch on the far right. So that one. Edgar, what the fuck? Ah, damn it, Edgar! He's an engineer. He's curious, you know? He's an engineer. <laughs> Ooh. All right. So that, and that's what happens if you pull one of the other switches. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend doing that because that does waste a bit of time. And as we'll see, um, it does uh, go... So you have to fight these rats. Fucking rats. Um, and some of them can kind of take a while. Especially when you mess up the inputs. And I don't have uh, any real offensive magic to take these guys out easily. You're trying your best, David. Yeah. Yeah. It happens. All you have to do is get to Ultros before the time goes out. You don't actually have to beat him, like, by the time. So. <laughs> do it, David. I believe in you. Yeah, unfortunately, these rats are kind of annoying. You, get a... you don't have to fight all of them um, if you're, you know, good. You can avoid You're some good. of them. Yeah. Perfectly planned it out. There's some fire. Fuck. More rats. Yeah, I don't remember if the, the, the like the middle rat can call them more rats. Okay. But um I'm guessing that's the case, so try and kill the middle rat first. Okay. Damn it, David, come on! <laughs> we'll be We're fine. We're out of time, Crunch! <laughs> Celeste will be fine. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna die. <laughs> 
burn those rats. The good thing these are actually monsters. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Gross. That rat just gave me the bubonic plague. Wow, I really wish Locks uh, fire attacks were, you know, actually strong. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, this is basically it. Like, this uh, intense uh, race to uh, save, um, save Celeste is uh, being held up by all these damn rats. Fucking rats, man. Yeah. Let's uh, I'm gonna call uh the health inspector. Call OSHA. Uh. I'm good. Call OSHA. <laughs> I don't think OSHA does that. Does do they? I technically it'd be a health like hazard, like a health hazard for workers. Probably call the health department first. Yeah. Okay. Less than 40 seconds left. So many pop-ups. Oof. Oh, rats. Literally. Idiot. <laughs> That's some uh, Saturday morning cartoon right there. Rats? No, the uh, you saw they uh, like looked at each other and was oh, like, "Oh yeah." Oh, oh, oh. hello, Ooh. evil monster thing. Nice to meet you. Surprise! Oh yeah, he thinks to himself. Neither Draco nor that Rowles will win. Wait, Celeste? Who's Celeste? Oops. Oh dear, what dreadful acting. <laughs> Silence, knave. Lord, lowborn thief like you challenge you to a duel. Turns out Ultros is actually like a, a highborn prince. Oh yeah, yeah, obviously. The squid people. Huh. It's me again. Again, Long I still time. think it would have been cool if they revealed Locke to be a prince, just saying. Well, when you make your own game, you can make someone exactly like Locke and then reveal that he's actually a prince. So, this uh, button input that I keep trying to do is actually the reverse, where you start from left and go to the right. Um, I kept forgetting that for some reason. Damn it, Saban. <laughs> what's my left hand and what's my right hand again? <laughs> and fuse. Again, uh, use fire attacks if you have anyone who knows fire at this point. Um, since uh, Celeste is kind of, you know, not here. Indisposed? Yeah. I would have liked it if she had joined us, but I think... Um, She's got to keep character, David! Yeah, that I think that's the reason why she doesn't. Garden Variety Octopus. But, is that like a reference to the Beatles with the uh, octopus's garden or whatever? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. I, you know, I, <laughs> I enjoy the Beatles. I don't know them that well. And apparently Sabin's an imp now. Fuck. A little turtle duck. Ugh. 
my in, put like uh, my chin while shaving because my Ew. hair is like worse and pain in the ass. The shave must have yeah it, like cut got one little nick on there and it won't like stop. Well, uh, I hmm. Did you put toilet paper on it? No. I would do that. Yeah, but then it looks weird. Yeah. Are are you going out today? No. I mean, I'm going to be meeting a friend to work on a project, but I mean, he saw me yesterday, so it's not like anything's different. It's just annoying yeah. that it, it's there. It's there. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Now we're imps. So the only uh, magic you can really cast is imp to get rid of imp. <laughs> and unfortunately, none of my characters know imp at this point. The other thing that you can do is use a green cherry and that gets rid of the imp status. You're afraid of fire, but then you use fire. How does that work? So, as you can probably tell, I have uh, leveled up or gotten some uh, magic from our magic uh, magic site. Um, since getting it, just uh, so that you know they have something. Yeah. I'm I'm not going to go like super overboard with the magicite for my non mages, um, but I do like to make sure that everyone has something, just so they're you know semi useful. <laughs> Outside of you know being just being a physical attacker, man of my word, impresario, I'm taking Maria. Of course, less. She's trying her best. Yeah. Try to come back and see part the two. fate lies in store for her now. <laughs> Tune in next time on the next exciting episode of Dragon Ball GT. <laughs> and one last shot of the uh... <laughs> fucking slamming ass. Oh, hell yeah! Do you think they're all related? They might be. I mean, they all they all look pretty similar. A lot of cellos. <laughs> hey, I'm not I'm not uh, Maria. Okay, let me throw a rope down this uh, very dangerous um, gear section. I can't. Yeah, mechanical device. What a performance. You're a great fake actress. Enough. The real show starts now. It's time for Act 2. Not quite Act 2. We're not, uh, we're not quite there. Mm -hmm. We've got about uh, another eight episodes or so before we get to Act 2. Oh, yeah. That's her. We need your help. We need to get to Vector, your ship you're not Maria, then we have nothing to talk about. <laughs> what you were, and that you were the world's greatest gambler. <laughs> I'm the King of Figaro. If you help us, you'll be well rewarded. Don't misunderstand. Still haven't said I'll like help. Fucking Frankenstein. <laughs> he has scars, Ben. Jesus. Yeah. He sent, uh. I'm making fun of him for it. <laughs> I'm the only one. Ooh. So this is why I want. You know, I like to have uh, Edgar and Sabin in the party for yeah. this particular scene. Um. So, we're we're gonna get there in a second, but 
Setzer's not sure if he really wants to help. Yeah. You know, I think uh, you may even be... <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, Celeste, become my wife. I'll help you. And Locke just got jealous. It's okay, Locke. We all know she was a replacement. Yikes. <laughs> but I hey, have some conditions. You flip this coin. If it's heads, you help us. If it's tails, I'm yours. Well, Mr. Gambler. Ooh, tempting him with a gamble. Are you serious? Marry that guy. He'll be fine, Locke. Don't worry. Is there like a chance of that not working out? Heads, I win. Valuable trinket indeed. I've never seen a double-headed coin before. That coin. Edgar, don't tell me. That's why I wanted to have those two in the party. Oh. That's the same coin that Edgar used for Sabin. Oh. The trick coin? Yep. Alright. So, Setzer is on board. And next episode, um, we're going to be heading towards Vector. So, thank you for watching. Hell yeah. And we will see you guys next time.